Since the Netherbrain fell, you and Shadowheart have seen more of Faerun than you ever thought possible. She no longer shies from wolves or water. Nothing in the world frightens her anymore. And you feel you could face anything by her side. One day, you receive a letter passed to you by a stranger who bows with deference. An invitation to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood by your side in the fight against the Absolute. He waste no time in packing and set off on the long road back to where all of your adventures together began. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. with my hair smelling like wood smoke and fallen leaves stuck to my backside. A little wine might help accelerate the process. So, we should divvy up what we tell people about what we've been doing these past few months. I'd hate to be a boar that comes along and regurgitates the same story to someone moments after you've told them. Any ideas? Well, there's the visit to the House of the Moon, fending off Sharan assassins. That stray imp that joined us. Bing Bong, wasn't it? We've squeezed in a lot. And I'm glad I got to share it all with you. I'm sure we'll have them hanging off our every word. <laughs> I'll leave you to do some mingling, unless you need anything else. Uh, forgetting something. more like it. Don't get into trouble, but if you must, fetch me first. There's something strange in your old friend's mouth. What is it? familiar invitation. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. But it isn't a ball. It's the astral prism. He whines. Less talk, more throw.
Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming fighting a many-limbed creature or dancing. It's unclear. He is, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. The joy in the owlbear's eyes is clear. He longs for a home and would love to stay with Shadowheart. Now, ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Oh, that would be telling, wouldn't it? But believe you me, my friend, not a word could have been written without you. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you could just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. There you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Forest trees draped in moss. Bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. A far cry from the rancid Avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs. I swear, Karlak and I have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who'd have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping Avernus for good? One of them sported a map and some blueprints. If you want all the gory details, Karlak can fill you in. She's kept me on a long leash, if you can believe it. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tanari assassins who slip into Avernus, Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next target's the most challenging yet, or so she says. I don't know much more, only that it's no demon, but a devil. I'm not worried. <laughs> not when Karlax got my back. I swear she could scare the eyes off a beholder. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch, and 
He's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. With haste. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. With us, you mad bastard! You brought me back! Soldier! It, it's really you! Oh, I've missed you, man. Like, I've really missed you! And you're so... clean! <sighs> War's a dirty business, soldier. It's been, uh, exactly how you'd think. But having Will around has been incredible. Fuck is even better at killing devils than yours truly. We don't have much time to chat, but just knowing he's there makes all the difference. Oh, but hey, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Ernest. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier. <laughs> Trying not to count my owlbears before they've hatched, but the thought of coming back to Baldur's Gate keeps me going. Can I look you up when I'm out? Hey, that would be kind of fun, though. High stakes, hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. Gods, is it good to see you again. To be here, together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. A most welcome sight. Not one juicy secret to be heard. <sighs> For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. <laughs> and for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. I never imagined we'd be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe on this day, in this place. Nothing but allies, I always told myself. A necessary partnership. But in spite of every strained word, every barbed glance, seeing you brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. A bit. It's taken a dozen gishes talents, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. 
I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. There is Minyaragith. Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai. An exiled people, once kin with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlakit's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free! But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. I admit, I've longed for his guiding wisdom more than once, but I have not heard tell of him, nor has my mind felt his presence. Gith's son has been lost to the shadows. Perhaps one day, when the Lich Queen is dust, he will step into the light. Soon. When the comet has risen, when the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust, I miss this place. More to the point, I miss you. I wouldn't even deny it with Vlakit's vorpal blade at my neck. Though, I'd rather it not come to that. Now go, mingle a bit. That's the word, right? Mingle. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers, same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon, same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Baldorians simply get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness, civic spirit, plain stupidity. Perhaps all three, but nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worm's Crossing. 
Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. I suppose I am. I tried to steer them clear of my life's work, but they have chosen it for themselves. Ah, oh, there is still much to do. People to house, a harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less for all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Boo! We are not dreaming! It is our old friend! It is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> I... Execution, says Boo, though I, I am not sure of the difference. It is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? The Zent may keep their peace, so long as Minsk may keep his steel. We shall see which is the first to shatter, hmm? But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration and the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore the sticky tyrant from the sky? Aha, the lovebirds still nest together then? <laughs> Minsk is glad. For what is life without a companion? Though I am thinking yours does not sit on your shoulders, eh? Ah, you are right, Boo. <laughs> that is uh, none of Minsk's business. There is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go and greet the others. 
Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, boo. Though I see no soap. So you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. Do my... Well, look who it is. My first and oldest friend. The last six months have been kind to you. A blessing, no less. <laughs> well, isn't that just darling? But I am glad to see you're living life to the fullest. We deserve nothing less, you and I. The Casador's mansion has become my palace and played host to every kind of banquet and soiree and masquerade imaginable. And, of course, has seen its fair share of hedonism, clandestine deals, and the occasional disappearance. Whatever it takes to build up my influence over those who matter. I'm spinning my web. Power grows slowly, but I have nothing but time now. Rather wonderfully, actually. I've been making... All sorts of new friends. They're the kind of friends that would <laughs> see me burn the first chance they get. But that's all in the nature of the game, isn't it? But the important thing is I am doing wonderfully. Finally having a life that's worth living. And who knows what's next? There's an entire world out there, ready for the taking. <laughs> Perhaps the next time we meet, we'll have grander conquests to toast. I did miss you, you know. There is a sense of loneliness that comes with power. We did share a wonderful adventure, you and I. A pity to see it end in some ways. But we have great new lives stretching out before us. And great new adventures to go on. I will never forget the time we spent together, though. And I know you'll never forget me. Until next time, darling. Suddenly I have a spot of deja vu. Oh, Withers certainly knows his wine. Good or song, resurrected good company, an excellent and sommelier. good wine from the... Well, well, look what the Tresim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy, educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. I think it makes perfect sense. Who better to warn of the perils of misusing magic than someone who was once only a wayward sneeze away from destroying a mid-sized settlement? I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my, uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. 
I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Illusory magic has the power to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all, imagination. Had you the decades to spare, I think you'd prove quite adept at it, as you did in that first lesson I taught you. It was at that moment, the weave connecting us, but I realized how much your friendship had come to mean to me, as it still does. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course, when they can manage to stay awake. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? From you, I'd expect nothing less. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the allure of sharing your expertise. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. A time enough to come. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. Milil. Though if the lack of song prayers is anything to go by, that name carries less weight than it used to. Musical prayers were once offered to Menil, Lord of Song, a minor deity whose worship faded after offending the trickster god Cyric. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. You. You know. <laughs> You're bloody right. It is an honor. Finally, the scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of culture. What can I do you for? Fantastical news. Carry on, I shall. This one night is like any other, and yet different. 
Thou art the savior of Baldur's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? Thou givest thyself so little credit. The duty borne by you was great. You could have well shirked. Thou gavest what it was possible to give. The realm continues for your sacrifices. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you.
There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.